Check one, two, check one, two. All right, we've got some backlit stuff. We're back. It's been quite a while since I've done anything like this. Uh, just as a quick overview, moved. Well, it took about, oh, that time's wrong on this clock. Clock. 12.46, there we go. Got the truck, got back by nine, and it is 12.46, so. Stop. Stop, stop, enter. Oh, I just found out the USB port on this truck has been jammed in and I cannot get it to come back out so I cannot plug my phone in. The phone battery should be fine but that's really not what I wanted to have happen for a five hour drive if I can't listen to stuff. Oh boy I hope Bonnie has another adapter because there is an audio jack but this doesn't have and I don't have an audio cable and oh boy that's not what I wanted to have happen right now. Anyway, got it all loaded up, gonna hit the road, got a five hour drive. Let's do this. Now I live in Colorado, and that was a whole thing. We uh, got all packed up. I've been here for a week, technically. It is now a Saturday, and we moved originally on a Saturday, which was a, a whole thing. We got everything packed up, got ready to go, went and got the truck, started loading it, uh, hand truck, because I'm I've done this before. That took, getting the boxes was less than an hour, and the majority of what we had was boxes, and then I highly underestimated just how long it would take to get everything else. So I thought we were doing real good progress, and it was like, yeah, excuse me, get everything packed up, get everything ready to go, and see, you know, how it goes. get everything all packed up. Once the truck was loaded, it took all in all three or four hours. We got on the road, picked up the truck at 8 a.m., got back, started loading at 9. All the boxes were done around 10, which gave me hope that we were pretty quick and it was not going to take me very long to get the rest of the stuff. And then it took much longer. We did not get on the road until afternoon. I remember looking, we were getting fast food because when you're moving that's really your only options so getting fast food and leaving 
at one o'clock, and then it was seven thirty by the time we got here. It's a six and a half hour drive. Now living in a small mountain town, which just seems like a tourist spot to me. Um, after visiting a few of them, it reminds me of Destin, Florida, a bit in certain ways. Like all of the the food that's around is all very expensive. Doesn't do delivery. I guess they're busy enough. Anyway, got here. That was a Saturday. Sunday, unpacked the truck. Took it back Monday morning. Then we had to drive back to Wyoming to get my car because we had to leave one behind. And then also do the final moving loadout. Do the final thing with all the getting moved and ready to go. Um... Then we came back on Tuesday, so then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday were all starting to get unpacked and setting up the the condo and getting all my computer stuff and running some tests with this camera and then come out here on a Saturday morning for the first time. And I came out to a spot that I'd seen before and was interested in. It is specifically labeled as a wildlife viewing place, which is interesting. Uh, it is a reservoir uh, from the Colorado River. And it's right next to the highway, like right next to it. So I don't know if any of the audio would come out anyway, but it was interesting. I spent about two hours walking around, looking at all that. And then I came back to the car and I was going to start recording and then ran into all kinds of troubles, including forgetting to bring extra batteries. I brought more batteries, but apparently I grabbed batteries that were not charged. I'm not fully set up back at home, home base yet for uh, recording, I guess, for charging, really. I have uh, more things that need to be set up and that's my all of my charging things so I grabbed some batteries for the audio recorder that I'm using now and that's why I'm not quite rushing but a little bit rushing because I have a feeling it's going to die at any point it's only showing me one little tick of a battery left and I don't know how long it's going to last and when that cuts out all of my audio will but I just planned to come out I just wanted to come out and see what was out here um, I wanted to go to some other places this morning as well, but I've spent so long fiddling with this stuff and learning the new camera quirks and looking at this stuff. I think I'm going to call it for right now and probably come back out later, maybe tomorrow. I'm still technically on vacation for a few days because I took off for this week for work, but um, we made it. We are we are moved. We are here, and I am exploring. I'm happy to be back out and glad to be looking at stuff. I don't think I saw anything new today wildlife-wise, but I also did not bring any wildlife. I just wanted to come out and look at the landscape and test out the new camera um, that we have here. And uh, yeah, so I brought a wide-angle lens and I do have a zoom that I picked up for that. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at. I've learned that uh, my little wireless setup for my mic that I wear causes interference when it's put directly under the recorder, which I did not expect or plan for when I was setting up and putting it in different spots going, oh, it'll fit here and I can wrap the cable here. Well, it causes interference, which is a problem because it makes the audio completely unusable when there's high-pitched whining throughout the whole thing. And then I got in the car and I played with that for going on 45 minutes to try to get that set up and get everything there and with this new camera learn the quirks. And then it was like, oh, it's too hot. And so it shut off. So I had to wait, and I, I turned on the car and let the AC go for a little bit. I figured the, the noise, the, the small amount of, with it on low, the small amount of noise that the AC is causing is probably not as much as the loud trucks and everything are from over there. So that should be not a problem. But anyway, just a little update on what's going on, where I'm at, where I will be going. I've got a few things that I want to explore. Um... And I talked about it with all of this new camera set up in a new location, referring to this as Season 2, which is a long-running gag that just ended probably because I don't know how long I'll remember that. <laughs> but I do have a few new ideas for what I'm going to be for a couple different things. One thing is I'm going to be splitting up all the different, um, pretty much what I do. When I'm sitting here talking to the camera, this is more of a behind-the-scenes personal vlog thing like that. Um, I have a name for that. I need to actually remember to be putting that in the videos, to be addressing it as such, uh, and then I'm just going to split up the other stuff. Instead of making longer 
videos with everything crammed into there, I'm just going to split them up into different things. So if I put wildlife footage in one, I've kind of been doing this, but I'm going to continue doing it. I like, I think that's a better way to, to split it up so that people can watch what they want to. Um, so with that being said, I have some footage that will be going up differently. On our drive back to Wyoming, we're getting here, we took major highways and I was driving a, a U-Haul truck the whole way, a 15 foot box truck. So that wasn't, it wasn't bad. Not, it definitely not as bad as moving out to Wyoming in the first place, coming from Georgia, and it was a three-day trip. Um, so not nearly as bad as that. It was still several hours of driving, but podcasts helped get through that, thankfully, without uh, going too boring. And then um, on the drive back to Wyoming, oh, my significant other, Bonnie, finally, she's been telling me for years and years one of her favorite uh, books, or one that she really likes. I don't know if it's her favorite, but... Uh, Ready Player One. I finally listened to that on audio tape while we were going. Do we still have audio? Yes, I do. Uh, we were we were listening to the uh, narration of that, and that's excellent. And I, I we listened to it for we started that up basically as we were leaving. So you talk about another five six hour drive roughly. Um, and then we got there, and I went, well, this is awesome, and I want to keep going. So I I picked it up on my own, and I started reading and listening that night, and then. When we got back in the drive up to there, and then I finished it out while I was setting things up. Great book. Wow. That was good. I've not heard great things about the movie, but I'm interested. I'm, I'm reserving my opinion. I'm, I'd like to, I know that it could not possibly be as good, because that book must have been written at, for the fantasy world that copyright doesn't exist. Or, I mean, I, I, I guess technically it could be that it, it does in a way, but at the same time they don't have a problem with it. I wonder, it's an interesting concept. It's fiction, so it's not like it's real, but to make it in such a way, that's the one thing that I've heard is that there's no way they could have gotten all of those pieces, all, all of the different companies and brands and everything that's there. But anyway, great book. If you haven't, if you're at all interested, it's a lot of video games. It's really interesting. It's a lot of 80s references, which I only know some of, but it has made me remember, it made me go listen to Rush. I haven't heard, I've, I've have a couple select Rush songs that I know uh, from over the years that I just like have in random playlists or in just, you know, all liked music that I'll put on. But um, I'm actually going back and listening to the album, like sitting down and going, I am going to listen to an album, which I've never done before. And I just really like that music. So anyway, that's a couple of things that's going on personally that has nothing to do with any wildlife related stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, that I have going on, and I've got some other things to discuss in other videos, but that's probably going to do it for now, maybe not for today, but I definitely have to go swap out batteries at the very least. Anyway, I'm back. Expect more content soon, in one shape or another.